Your Excellency, thank you very much for accepting our exclusive interview on CGTN. Thank you very much. At the uh, start of this year, Chinese State Council and Foreign Minister Qin Gang visited uh, Africa and uh, Ethiopia was his uh, first stop. You met him again on May the 25th, Africa Day. I learned that during your meeting with him, you said bilateral ties have withstood the test of time and moved from strength to strength. Would you please describe the current status of bilateral relations? Ethiopia and China, we enjoy a long-standing relations and long-standing ties. In 1970s, diplomatic relations started and gradually becoming more consolidated and getting more strong. His visit is really very timely to enhance our bilateral relations. And then I'm visiting China to keep the momentum to address different outstanding issues for the strong engagement between the two countries. Do you think bilateral ties is solid enough? Current relationship between Ethiopia and China is really getting more strong. We focus on economic, political, and social areas. Based on that, bilateral relations is becoming more strong and more functional. After mentioning so many current developments of China-Ethiopia relations, how do you see the long-term development of bilateral ties? How do we envision the future ties? The future is also bright. Bilateral relations becoming a strategic level and there are lots of opportunities, huge potentials to be implemented between two countries. The previous experience based on win-win principle uh, and the existing bilateral relations it is very dependable, mm -hmm. friendly. This is really a good foundation for the upcoming movement to continue strong cooperation between the two countries.